Hello everyone, we will continue the topic interactive classical report events and in the previous videos we finished with the interactive classical report events and we covered add line selection, add user command and top of page during line selection. Now in this video we will cover a topic system variables in interactive classical report events. Now, as a part of this, we already covered one system variable that is psi l i s c l. And we remember this system variable by the way, l i s c l means line selection. It will always returns the contents of the selected line whenever you are double clicking, whenever you are selecting and click on to choose button, whenever you are selecting and doing F2, this system variable always, always return the contents of the selected line. And we already did the practical for the same. Now we will cover one of the again most most important system variable and important question from the interview perspective also. Now we have the next system variable is psi lsind. Lsind you can remember in a way list index. So this system variable always always returns the index of the displayed list whatever the list is displayed this system variable will return the index will return the index we all know we have two types of list one is basic list and another is secondary list we already covered this topic we have one is basic list and another is secondary list. How many basic list is possible? One. How many secondary list is possible? 20, 20. So this system variable always, always return the index of the displayed list. Whenever we have the basic list, this system variable is always, always zero. Whenever we have the secondary list, this system variable has the value greater than zero. And you all know you have how many secondary lists possible? 20 secondary list. It means this system variable for secondary list will varies from where? 1 to 20. Because we have how many secondary lists possible? 20 secondary list. Whenever we will show, whenever I will go for system, I will clearly show you. So this system variable plays a vital role. Whenever we have the basic list, this system variable is zero. But whenever we are going for secondary list, secondary list, secondary list, this system variable value will change and it is always greater than zero which will varies from 1 to 20. Yes, because we have that 20 is the maximum limit of the secondary list. And whenever we will do the practical, when the system variable value exceed 20, I will show you also what the system is doing at that point of time. Now we will go for the system and we will see the behavior of this system variable. Most important system variable, Suppose you can take any of the interactive program which we develop. Suppose I'm taking the program in which we are using add user command. I'm putting a breakpoint in add user command. I'm putting a breakpoint in start of selection also so that I can show you the value of system variable. I'm getting. I'm giving the input. Whenever I will click on to execute button after that, which particular list will display basic list. Basic list is the first list. Now, if I will show you the value of the system variable, you can see the value is zero. 
zero. For the basic list, the value of this variable is zero. So now we have the basic list. Now, whatever we will do now, yes, whatever the actions we will perform on this basic list, yes, after that, it will go to what secondary list. And the value of this system variable for the secondary list is greater than zero. Whenever I will do, you can see how this variable value is changing. I'm going for, I'm clicking on to this button. You know, whenever I will click on to this button, which event will call add user command. And have you seen what is the variable value now? One. So we have the first secondary list. Again, clicking. now we have the second secondary list. Have you seen values are greater than zero? Now we have third secondary list. We have fourth secondary list. We have fifth secondary list. We have sixth secondary list. We have seventh secondary list. We have eighth secondary list. We have ninth secondary list. We have tenth secondary list. We have eleventh secondary list. We have twelfth secondary list. We have thirteenth secondary list. We have 14th secondary list. We have 15th secondary list. We have 16th secondary list. We have 17th secondary list. We have 18th secondary list. We have 19th secondary list. And now we have 20th secondary list. So this system variable value is greater than zero for the secondary list. And now we have 20 secondary list. Why I show you like this? Because now limit has been reached. Now, if I will go for further, then what system will do? If I will go for further with displaying the secondary list, have you seen? I got a runtime error. And it is clearly saying you have too many secondary lists. And what is the limit for the same 2020? So this system variable value for the basic list, it is zero. For the secondary list, it is greater than zero. Means it will varies from one to 20. That is true because we have the limit of secondary list is 20. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we put so much stress on one of the most important system variable that is psi l s i n d. We can remember in a way list index. It will always return the index of the displayed list. For the basic list, this system variable returns zero. For the secondary list, it will return greater than zero, means it will vary from one to 20. If we are going for displaying more than 20 secondary list, system will simply, simply throw the runtime error because the limit for the secondary list is 20. The list which is coming for the first time is called as basic list. And after that, whatever the actions you are doing on basic list, which list is coming after that secondary list is appearing after that. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.